Alright guys, welcome back to another F-150 vlog. Let's get the day started by uh, checking up on the lawn crew. Uh, I got Nick out there and he's cutting lawns by himself, so let's see how he's doing out there. Alright, I'm out here uh, checking up on Nick. And I wanted to uh, look at this trailer here to show you guys uh, how to know how much you can tell without being uh, overweight so basically a quick way that you can tell how much your trailer is rated for is just by taking a quick look at your axles so if you look at these you see that we have uh, five lug axles and for the most part your five lug axles are going to be rated to tow 3,000 pounds or 3,500 pounds so if you have two 3,500 pound axles then you know that uh, most likely this capacity is going to be a 7,000 pound capacity now that don't necessarily mean you can throw 7,000 pounds on this trailer because the trailer itself weighs about a thousand pounds and the way you can tell how much the trailer weighs is by uh, checking out your little stickers your labels here on the on the uh, trailer so on this label it'll tell you what the axles are rated for and what and how much weight you can add to the trailer now because the trailer itself weighs about a thousand pounds you can only put about six thousand pounds of weight on this trailer so for the most part when you look at when you look at your axles uh your 3500 pound axles are usually five lugs and that's usually how it goes but if you have a six lug axle most of the time a six lug axle is going to be a 5,000 pound axle but six lugs could also be 5,200 pounds or 6,000 pounds you really just have to look at the label to know for sure but if you know it's at least 5,000 pounds uh, then you know that you know F-150 or at least mine with the way that it's set up wouldn't be towing around something with six lugs two six lug axles especially if it's something now if it's just like a utility trailer and the trailer is not loaded and you're just uh you're just doing it for like personal use it doesn't matter as much as long as you don't load the trailer to over that amount of weight but if it's something like a boat where the manufacturer set up the trailer with the boat like the crown line bolt or maybe like a rinker bolt and it came with the trailer and everything was already matched up and you look and you see you got two six lug axles you can probably guess that uh, that weight rating is going to at least be somewhere near the 10,000 pound load uh, it, chances are something like that will probably be about 8,000 pounds but they want a little bit of wiggle room for like fuel or like maybe you throw a couple things in the boat when you trailer it so they don't usually run them right at the max but they, they usually leave about a thousand maybe more pounds extra that you can add some fuel some water whatever depending on the situation if it's a boat where you can put up put up a hundred gallons of gas and maybe like 50 gallons of water then they're gonna they're gonna leave a little bit of axle rating for for that purpose but uh yeah quick way to tell you got five lugs 3500 pounds each at 7,000 pounds if you get if you see six lugs then that could either be minimum that's gonna be 5,000 pounds but it could be 6,000 it could be 5,200 pounds but uh, you know it's at least 5,000 pounds you have to look at the label you know for sure if, if you see eight lugs you're probably looking at something like a dump trailer big dump trailer and eight lug is going to be rated something like, it could be 7,000 it could be 8,000 it could be 10,000 so really got to know your stuff when you're going to eight lugs so if I were even though this is a F-250 I really can't hook up to a dump trailer and load it up because the F-250 even though it's pretty big pretty heavy duty truck probably got to step into like a 350 or a 450 to be uh, talking dump dump trailers but look here you can see on your door sticker oh no, I got Nick Nick's pulling up with the mower so it's hard to hear 
So you can see right here on your door sticker uh, some more information that'll help with uh, towing. It says right here the ghost vehicle weight rating is 10,000 pounds. So this truck alone is uh, rated to uh, to carry 10,000 pounds, but that's the weight of the cargo in the vehicle. So that's one way to tell. It's kind of confusing because they don't tell you they don't tell you the weight of the vehicle, but uh, it tells you the gross vehicle weight rating. So basically, it's telling you the maximum weight of the vehicle and cargo. So they're telling you basically you got to stay under 10,000 pounds total truck included so you have to take away the weight of the truck from 10,000 pounds you have to look up the weight of the truck because I don't know where do they I don't know where they list the weight of the truck so you have to subtract the weight of the truck maybe the weight of the truck with the full tank of gas from that 10,000 and that gives you how much weight you can add to the truck and your tongue weight your tongue weight goes in to play there too so you don't want to go over that tongue weight either uh, so that's something to think about when you have 6,000 pounds on the rear axle it's hard to it's hard to go over your tongue weight let's go check up on Nick How's it going? Good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, it looked pretty good. It looked like the height's been lowered a little. Getting ready for fall, huh? Yeah, I've been as low as it pretty much can go. This probably can go a little bit lower. It looks good, you know. But I've, I've been trying, man. Um, I know it's been like 45, 50 minutes in the house, man. It's been long. Has it? It's been real long, man. Three bags out of your uncle's. Wow. Yeah, I was just uh, talking about the trailer weight, you know, how to know how much weight you got <laughs> just by looking at the axles, you know, too. What is it hold up to, like 10? The, the trailer? trailer? 6,000 pounds. Just six? Yeah, dual axle, 3,500 pound axles each with 1,000 pounds of uh, weight for the trailer. So you got a gross axle rating of 7,000 pounds plus carrying the trailer is 1,000 pounds. Leave 6,000 pounds for loading. No, it's not even really being stressed out. We put about 2,500 pounds of weight on it with the lawn equipment. Looks good. No ruts. It's the same thing, dude. So unless you say something, I don't care. Shit. She won't even, she don't know. Unless you watch her vlogs. But yeah, guys, just uh, checking up on the lawns, you know. Pretty boring day. Probably go check out some trucks later. Yeah, but I can't speed. All right, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Nick get back to it and head over to the dealership. I guess maybe I can look at some trucks. Maybe not. It's kind of busy, so guys been uh, moving a lot of trucks. So uh, so uh, yeah, maybe I can go uh, check out a truck. You know, I want to do a two seven and a five point oh. I haven't driven the twenty eighteen yet, so. Only 2018 I drove was the uh, was the 3.5. It was like whatever. I wasn't that impressed. But uh, yeah, let's uh, head over to the next stop. I don't know where it's gonna be, but it's gonna be somewhere. All right, guys. I'm at Target right now. Going in here to buy some clothes. Uh, that's pretty much gonna be it for the vlog today. Uh, I got a lot of stuff coming up. I'm still waiting for the 3.5 liter Eco Boost to be finished, built, and delivered. So right now the truck is not uh, delivered. It was just built yesterday. That was the build date that we got for it. And uh, pretty much just waiting until that's done and then I'm gonna have a lot more content coming out. Uh, but pretty soon it'll be the 2.7 liter towing MPG test coming out soon where we tow 7,000 pounds. Uh, for about 80 miles and uh, recorded the MPG. 
So that's coming up. That's going to be pretty cool. But I'm just going to end the vlog here. I'm going to go in here and Target and buy some new stuff for work. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.